to stop thinking about your twin flame? The short answer to this is, well, you can't. You can't stop thinking about your twin flame. And I'm going to tell you why and clear up any confusion that you may be experiencing around thinking about your twin flame. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brienne, a master certified ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I've been in harmonious union with my twin flame for nearly five years now. We are married and we live our life as one, coaching and supporting others with everything that we've learned and what helped us with coming into our harmonious union and helping you come into yours as well. So why can't you stop thinking about your twin flame? Well, we first want to address the reasons why you're thinking about your twin flame and why you can't stop thinking about them and also address why you want to stop thinking about them. So oftentimes this question comes from a place of, let's say if you're new, to your twin flame journey. And I can say this because I experienced it for myself when I first awakened to the twin flame journey, I had a lot of thoughts about my twin flame person and it seemed to kind of rule my mind. It kind of seemed to take over. And because I didn't have a lot of knowledge on what the twin flame connection was about or, or what it meant or how to navigate it, how to pursue it, it just simply felt maybe a bit unhealthy to me to be thinking about someone so frequently and often. And because I had a lack of clarity on, is this actually a real thing? Meaning, can I really be with my twin flame and how to navigate it because as you know there's a lot of uh, patterns or healing and challenges that twin flames go through and because i lacked awareness on how to move throughout my journey i felt like i just wanted to numb out to the connection meaning shut off the thinking shut off the feelings and just kind of act like it, did, it never happened but as you know it's not quite that easy so throughout as i continued and throughout my research and you know finding twin flames universe because that is what supported me in you know coming into my harmonious union i realized that my thoughts were not a bad thing it's just that I didn't want to have those thoughts if it wasn't actually something that I could have for myself because it felt kind of like a carrot on a stick, right? Like I have all of these thoughts of, of being with my person, but before that I knew that it was actually a possibility, I thought it was impossible. Therefore, I didn't want to have those thoughts floating around in my mind. But once I knew that it was a possibility and that I could be with my twin flame, well, then I was able to really like relax and ground. And in that relaxation and grounding of knowing that it was possible for me, those thoughts were not as frequent because I was in a state of allowing. So part of the problem that I experienced was I was when I would start to resist them. You know, if you've ever heard that saying, what you resist persist. And so if you try to resist your feelings, you try to resist the thoughts that are floating around in your mind they're going to persist. Rather, when you're in a state of relaxation and allowing the your thoughts and your feelings, they will naturally just flow and come and go and they will really like ground in, right? It's a state of relaxing into. So I want you to know that your twin flame union, wherever you're at on your journey, but if you're feeling like it's impossible, I want you to know that it is possible and it's you can relax into your journey and knowing that it is for you to have. And what I also want to talk about is the obsessive thoughts that twin flames can oftentimes experience, especially once again, this is oftentimes in the very beginning of the journey. You have this awakening, you realize that you've met your twin flame, and maybe there's a lot of obsessive thoughts that you're having about them. And that's another reason why someone might be wondering, well, how can I stop thinking about my twin flame? How can I stop these obsessive thoughts? What you can do in this situation is you can be present with those thoughts that you're having and you can ask yourself, you know, does this feel bad? Meaning like all these thoughts that I'm having, do I feel bad about this? And if you are, you want to bring your, your focus back on yourself. Yeah, it's really important not to judge yourself, but to have compassion and patience with yourself. You know, that if you're having these thoughts, like it, it's okay. It's just a place that you're healing and it might be something that's a, a very new experience for you. And so sometimes when we 
you know, come into a new experience, you're going to put, you're going to put a lot of focus and attention on it because you're wanting to find out like, what is going on here? Like, let me, you know, it's a whole new world that opens up for you. So if you find that a lot of your attention and energy is going on this person that maybe you've just met, or you just realize that you're, you know, you're having deep, deep feelings for this person. And there's a lot of thoughts like, it's okay. Don't, you know, once again, what you resist persists. So just be in a state of allowing and having compassion for yourself and knowing that, you know, you're a whole new world is opened up to you and you're in a, you're in a state of exploration. And, you know, for instance, if you came across my video and you're watching this and, you know, it, it's safe to explore what it is that you're experiencing. It's safe for you to study and research to get clear on you know what a twin flame is and what that means for you and your journey moving forward but it's important that you know whatever angle you're coming at it from whatever the reason is for all of the thoughts that you're having about your twin flame you can't just shut it off because as i said again what we resist persists but when you just relax and you you acknowledge that you're having an experience whether it be new or your season to the journey, and then you will find naturally those thoughts, they they subside or they're, they come and go. They're not as prominent in your mind. And the twin flame journey in itself is a journey about self-love and self-discovery. Yes, you are meant to be with your twin flame. That's the whole reason that you had this experience of, of you know, finding them and, and getting to know that you even had a twin flame in the first place. But also, too, your twin flame, they are going to show you where you can go deeper into self-love and deeper into getting your getting to know yourself on a, on a soul level. And so it's important that you allow yourself to have that experience of getting to know yourself. And then and this is oftentimes tied in with, you know, that experience of separation that most twin flames speak about or experience. Right, because as you allow yourself to have that self love and go deeper into that and that self discovery of getting to know yourself, then your your twin flame. That's how you come together in you know physically. So the key here, all in all, is just allow yourself to relax. Don't judge yourself. Don't try to push your thoughts away. Don't think that there's something wrong with you. And if you're looking for like minded people. You know, this is another thing is that, you know, when I first experienced uh, my awakening to the twin flame journey, I didn't have anyone to talk to about it. And those around me that I did talk to about it, they were not, they were not experiencing it for themselves. So they didn't really know how to help me. And so I often felt alone, you know, until I found like-minded people that were also on their twin flame journey in the twin flames universe community. And then I could really like connect and receive support and also to work with a coach. You know, I am a coach and I also have a coach, right. That supports me and my twin flame weekly. We're moving through challenges and blocks that we may be experiencing in our harmonious union, because as you know, or don't know, even in harmonious union and beyond, you're still going to have challenges that you're moving through with your twin flame. But if you are looking for that investment into a deeper level of support for yourself, you're welcome to reach out. Hit me up for a free 15-minute consultation. My information is in the description box below. You can simply contact me and my twin flame at twinflameunionwithin.com. And there's a contact form. You just put your name and a little message and I will get you set up for your 15 minute free consultation. And also don't forget to hit that like, share and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.